God! I found it! I found it! I found it! And what is that? Hey, Sherry, 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 Sherry. Emotional, damn it! How far, um, bruises may be produced after death? How are you? You have been in uh, Afghanistan, I perceive. How on earth did you know that? Then you are to be congratulated. Indeed. But uh, uh, you came here on business. <laughs> Correct again. I am looking for someone with whom to take diggings, and heard you were complaining that you could get no one to go halves with you. I have my eye on a suite in Baker Street, which would suit us down to the ground. You don't mind the smell of strong tobacco, I hope? I smoke ships myself. That's uh, good enough. I get in the dumps at times, and don't open my mouth for days on end. Just let me alone, and I'll soon be right. What have you to confess now? It's best for two fellows to know what bruises each other carries before they begin to live together. My last companion and I... Well, I object to rows because my nerves are shaken. And I get up at all sorts of ungodly hours. And I am extremely lazy. I have another set of vices when I'm well. But those are the principal ones at present. Do you include violin playing in your category for rows? <laughs> it depends on the player. A well-played violin is a treat for the gods. A badly played one. Oh, oh, no, that's all right. I think we may consider the thing as settled. Oh, uh, forgive my manners. My attention wavers. Sherlock Holmes. Dr. John Watson. John. <laughs> Stop, Holmes! Is that you, Watson? Yes, of course it is. And you almost killed me. Nonsense. I was aiming for the vases. Blindfolded? I don't quite follow you. Tell me, my friend, what is the animal closest to man, morphologically, I mean? Ah, I see what you're getting at, Holmes. You asked me that once before, on the Ripper case, I believe. Do you want to slit some more pig's throats? No. Well, thank goodness for that. I wish to impale one with a harpoon. Wonderful. But before we go, I, I suppose I'll have to pay for all these carcasses you've happily mangled. Very well, but please hurry. Of course. This trip to the countryside will be good for you, Holmes. Hmm. As your friend and your doctor, I really do recommend that you give yourself a complete change of scene. Fresh air, brisk walks, bird watching, chopping wood. Sounds intolerant. I mean, certainly it sounds delightful. Mycroft. Uh, Sherlock. Oh, uh, Mr. Holmes? Perhaps you don't remember me. I'm Dr. Watson. Uh, we met at the Diogenes Club a few years ago. I documented our encounter in a short story I gave the title The Greek Interpreter. He does remember you, Watson. My brother remembers everything, and that is why he is so valuable to the government. We are about to depart for the train station. I know. You know? Sherlock. I need to think exactly as they do. Who are they? Brrr, what a gloomy night. It was warmer inside the waiting hall. Since the station master told us that the train is about to arrive, we should not have to wait very much longer. Yes, at last. I'll take your bags and your blasted archive suitcase. There are no clues. But then, a negative result is also a result. Oh, I see what you're getting at. No clues and you're smiling. Yes, Watson, I do smile on occasion. The case is solved, Holmes. What do you intend to do? Well, I shall require assistance for the arrests. There were accomplices. Ah, but I know that look. You have your own ideas. What are they, Holmes? Let us go home, then. I'd like to begin writing a draft of this story. No, I did not say that we had finished here yet. Well, all right. What did I miss? Watson, we know that the Barkazas Company directors were drowned in the flooded quarry. 
along with the train and Robinson's prototype. But we still need to corner the guilty party. But how do you intend to prove... Oh no, please don't tell me we have to dive into the lake. Of course, you already had a plan. I shall follow you, Holmes. Gentlemen, you are under arrest. Oh, dreadful. Two dead bodies. What a terrible ending to such a great case. There, there, my dear fellow. It is all right. You did your best. Dying, Holmes. Your pulse rate is dropping. We need to get you to the hospital immediately. <sighs> the antidote. <laughs> Give it to me. The antidote? You mean that you're poisoned? No. Please. Here, drink it all. Don't tell me that you did this to yourself. Hemlock and Natura. I was compelled to. Holmes, imagine if I'd not returned home when I did. What might have happened? <laughs> I knew that you would. Mr. Holmes is unable to see anyone at the moment. He is unwell. A good day, Inspector. A murder. A vanishing weapon. The Roman baths. That's for us. Watson, fetch your hat. Good Lord, Holmes. Ah, death with a peculiarly Roman piquancy. Like the one you almost had an hour ago. Let us forget about that. Holmes, for heaven's sake, whatever's going on? Oh, hello, Watson. You're early. Did you kill all of your patients? What? Holmes, where have all these wretched bees come from? I increased the temperature of the room so as to prevent them from hibernating. I needed to take a sample of honey. But it worked, Watson. We will have honey all year round. Ridiculous and dangerous. You can join me if you like. Well, I'll admit that I'd far rather accompany you than remain alone here with these workers of yours. Besides, you'll need a helping hand with the flowers you're intending to bring back. Watson, however did you guess? For the great Sherlock Holmes to bother with the theft of plants. Come on, admit that you're planning to spoil your little bees with some rare pollens. <laughs> Since when did I become so transparent? Let us go. Good day to you, sir. My name is Shul... I am exalting the sap. A while can you wait? From the trace of elements, and moreover, from the quality of the ambient geotropism, it depends. Therefore, please, my... Works perfectly, Holmes. Bravo. Now, if you could just help me to get rid of these caterpillars. Perfect. Now we know how the murder of Montague Dunn was carried out. By activating both Alberts and... How can you be certain that we'll find Miss White here? It is obvious, Watson. Just use your brain. I am using it. I do use it. She is not the concern, Watson. I'm... <laughs> then what is this about? Oh, that child standing sniffling behind her. Get rid of him, Watson. If he refuses this one, then his condition will worsen. Oh, I am still here, you know. I didn't fall out of the window. My word, how is it possible that you have grown up so fast? You'll be staying. Wherever will we put you? Holmes, I'll give her my room, of course. Holmes, about Caitlin. Yes? She has grown up, hasn't she? Don't you think it's time to... to tell her? To tell her what, Watson? Well, about her father. Never. Absolutely never. Do you hear me? Holmes... You were responsible for the death of her father. You owe her the truth. She is old enough now. I would lose her. Can't you see that? She must never know. Watson, is that clear? Holmes. It won't and can't happen. Holmes, what are you doing here? What are you planning? A mission of my own. You must play the role of the conscientious doctor while I sneak inside Marsh's house. That's the only way of helping little Tom. I came to visit Lord Marsh. What for? I would very much like to see Lord Marsh, if you please.
Oh, you're so clumsy. Good job, Watson. Watson, what are you doing at my table? I just need to check one thing about Lord Marsh. <clears throat> Done, Watson. Holmes, you're playing bowls? Indoors? Not just any old bowls, Watson. Lawn bowling. Seriously? With your injury? <laughs> no. Mrs. Hudson is going to murder you. Hmm. Well, that's it for now. Time to go. Would you care to join me? You're incorrigible. And where are we going, Holmes? I'm participating in the final stage of the annual tournament held by the... Holmes, are you really sure you want to wear that? This? Everyone dresses like this at the club. <laughs> that should be a sight worth seeing. Anything I can do to help? Look here. There's a person with a swollen eye who was concealed within this photograph. A dispute of some... South America! Brilliant, Watson! Happy to help. Well, Holmes, I was inspired to... Oh, look here. The postman has made a mistake. He's delivered a letter addressed to Miss Alice. Oh, he mistook 221B for 221C. Give it to me, oh, Watson. But... Holmes, you simply have to face up to it. You need to have a serious discussion with Kate about her origin. I can't. No more excuses. She will learn soon enough that Alice is leaving. This other hidden secret. She will not forgive you. She does not need to know why. No? So she will blame you for Alice's departure. Is that what you want? No. I, I certainly... It's as Kate said. I, I always do the wrong thing where she's concerned. Now look here. I'll take care of your case once we're back at Baker Street. <laughs> Cabby, why have we stopped? The road to the square is blocked, sir. Why? There's been a bad road accident. Oh, splendid. We'd better hurry. There may be injured who need help. I was looking for you. I have an idea about the accident. Never mind. This one is murder. What? What? You? You're the murderer, You're eh? off your head. Are you sure, Holmes? Oh, yes. A murder and an accident, because the killer, by electrocuting the cab, created this chaos. And so this multiple crash is now our great chance. Our great chance? Of what, Holmes? The culprit could not have planned for this to happen, don't you see? And it is possible that he is still here due to the prompt arrival of the police. I suspect three people here. Take them to Scotland Yard for questioning. As long as I don't leave empty-handed, all's good and well. I know that look, Holmes. Have you found something new? That's right. And don't forget our earlier discussion. Hmm? About Kate. We don't need her. Just use your skill. I'll take care of her. Watson! Holmes, she tricked me. She... Where's she gone? Watson, where? I... I, I don't know. She left saying that she had to go and see a lady. A Mrs. Destiny? That's a Destiny. She's a boat. What? Over there, Watson. Dr. Watson, would you kindly close the door behind you so that we can limit the price of your carelessness to merely hours of work rather than days? My apologies, Mr. Holmes. I found myself rather taken aback. <laughs> I saw tidy houses in war-torn Afghanistan. Are those my surgical needles? I ran out of tax and the matter required immediate attention. Was that my supper? Plainly not, for I was the one who ate it. Hmm, I set it aside for this evening. And for that, I am grateful. Is that my bed? Watson, since you've proven yourself a master of observation, might I ask you to apply your skills to a more pertinent question? Namely, the whereabouts of today's newspapers. They are the key to everything. The newsboy is usually reliable. Medically speaking, I often find that the key to everything is good sleep. 
in a bed. But in lieu of the strand, perhaps I can deliver you something equally tantalizing. I have just returned from a patient of mine, Captain Stemwick, who... No, no, that will not do. Grab your coat, Dr. Watson. Let us hope nobody has collected the dustbin. See, Watson, the conspiracy is real. Someone tried to poison me. Poison? You? That's madness. Precisely. What do you know? I know the value of a shilling. Dr. Watson. Cool. Now I can take the day off. Oh, for goodness sake. Who, uh, who goes there? Sherlock Holmes. Now will you please... Mr. Holmes. Golly, I did not see you coming. That was an utter waste of time. An assassination did seem rather unlikely. There was supposed to be another burglary. I was certain of it. Hmm. Something you wish to say, Doctor? No. Well, only that you have a remarkable faculty for deduction and pattern recognition. And that perhaps, if ill-applied... I see things that are not there. Yes. It is London. There will always be burglaries. Doesn't have to mean anything. So it seems. Forgive me. Without something to occupy my mind, I turn into an entirely different animal. Which brings us back to my news from earlier. I think I have a case for you, a real one. Truly? Indeed. Though perhaps not as thrilling as your stories from Cordona. A patient of mine, Captain Stenwick, told me that his servant disappeared. I said I knew just the man to help. What do you say? Oh, Watson. Yes, I know it's not the most tantalizing mystery, nor the story to launch my writing career, but it's brilliant. Let's go. Oh, good. Well, his house is nearby. Come. Someone knelt here. The amount of chewing tobacco suggests they were waiting a while. Amazing, Mr. Holmes, to read the ground like an open book. Truly, there is no better evidence of a man's nature than the way he treats those who help him. And you, sir, are a brute. The cruelty of your ignorance about the Maori people, your selfish attitude to a man's kidnapping. Uh, the point is, Captain, we're telling you this for a reason. The intruder fled through the garden door, and we need a key to follow his trail. Mr. Holmes, what a compelling mystery we have stumbled upon. Perhaps I have the premise of my next novel. Huh. One kidnapping does not a story make. Stop! A black cat crossed before us. It's a bad omen. I do not take you for the superstitious type, Doctor. Such things are mere fantasies, tricks of a feeble mind. One imagines a physician would keep a surer footing in reality. Perhaps, before the war, my time abroad was difficult. Once, I came across an Afghan, bleeding, who I could not save. He pressed a rosary into my hand. A gift, he said, so as to gain God's favor. After that... Dr. Watson? Yes, well, I shan't get into details, but sometime later I found myself lost in the desert. The hydration set in, and things grew ever more dire. The man's words came to me. I said a prayer and placed the rosary on a rock. A gift to gain God's favor. And you were rescued? Yes. A detachment of British soldiers found me. To whom I'm grateful. Without their diligence, you would not be standing here and I would not have this case. I'm sure you have another explanation prepared, Mr. Holmes. But I think I shall cling to the occasional superstition all the same. To each his own, Dr. Watson. So long as it does not interfere with my methods. Are you a doctor? In a manner of speaking. He's not. He merely has the ego of one. John? What is it, Holmes? Watson? Holmes, where are you? Holmes. Holmes. Are you all right? Uh, fine. Watson, um, I, I, I'm, I'm fine. Thank you for asking. Fine? By Jove, you should have heard the way you called out my name. It was just a game of shadows. Uh, wh what the hell is happening, Holmes? Calm yourself. Please tell me we found all we needed to, Holmes. I think we found a bit more than that. Yet we have no clue as to where those people have been taken. And that's where you're wrong, Watson. We have more than enough. 
I just need to connect the dots. How about you pack your suitcase in the meantime, my dear fellow? Just in case. As grateful as I have been for your company, Dr. Watson, I'm afraid you shall have to investigate Edelweiss alone. Alone? Mr. Holmes, I fear you overestimate my abilities. Nonsense. You are a military man, a bastion of British courage. I'm no such thing. As a doctor, I avoided most combat, save for one dreadful day. My troop was ambushed in a village with innocents caught in the crossfire. Too many to help. The man with the rosary. He was one of them? A translator, yes. We were trapped. Six soldiers and myself. I thought it was the end. But Lieutenant Paget refused to go quietly. The men prepared for a final stand. I rose to follow, but Paget shook his head. He told me to run. That I had other men to save. They charged. And I fled through the rear. So you see, Mr. Holmes, I am a coward. Emotional, damn it! The logic seems inescapable. Yes. You, a surgeon by trade, would have been perfectly useless in that conflict. What? No. And how many men have you helped since? Ailments eased, troubles tended? No more than a handful. Truth be told, I have become somewhat of a recluse. How many people could you help with 30 years ahead of you? Dozens? Hundreds? Paget was correct. You can cease your self-recrimination. Holmes, I... I don't know what to say. I would start with, I am Dr. John Watson, may I look around? Everyone, your attention, please. Guten day. Yes, hi. Hello. The name's Amos Colby, Northwood Detective Agency, Boston. I got questions that need answers. Who's in charge here? What seems to be the matter, Dr. Watson? You can tell me. By Jove, it, it cannot be him. Psst, Watson, over here. Holmes, what are you doing here, and where did you get that outfit? It is unimportant. I require your assistance. Well, that is rich, because clearly it was unimportant to tell me what you were planning beforehand. Amos Colby? Your naivety was essential to sell the disguise. Actually, it wasn't. You should have trusted me. Watson, we can discuss this later. Time is of the utmost importance. The kidnapped people may still be here. This is what I know so far. What? You really found all this on your own? Holmes, I... I can't do this. I'm no spy. Yes, you can, Watson. You are unfailingly dependable. My name is John Watson. I'm a doctor from London, a veteran of Afghanistan, and I wish to be a writer, though deep down I fear I lack the talent. And presently I'm risking my life to help my brilliant detective flatmate in the pursuit of a cult of kidnappers, even as I fear it may destroy him. I'm tired and hungry, and I have not had a good bath in weeks, and yet despite it all, I... I feel alive. Any more questions? Good heavens, sir! You're as mad as they come! Please! No more! Stop it! Watson! John! Somebody! Watson? Holmes? What are you still doing here? Still? I was trying to find more information. Did you think I was just going to sit in my room twiddling my thumbs? I only asked you to find the key. I had everything else under control. Says the man who looks like he saw a ghost. I'm fine, Watson. You're hardly fine. You reek of congealed blood and chemicals. What did you see down there? Never mind me. Where's Gygax? I'm afraid she's over there. I found her like that when I entered, on my word. What? She was our biggest lead. We've got what we needed, Watson. This conspiracy reaches further than we thought. I don't suppose you've ever been to New Orleans? You are joking. I seldom do. Let's go. There's no time to waste. There is nothing in this world that cannot be explained with logic and reason. Nothing in this world. Holmes? Hmm? You seem troubled. I'm not troubled, Watson. I am preoccupied. That place was awful. Inhumane. It would be natural to experience some feelings of shock or fear. Men reduced to gibbering imbeciles, numb beyond recognition, powerless to help themselves. When a doctor does go wrong, they are the first of criminals. 
They have the nerve and they have the knowledge. That woman did not deserve the title. Such casual cruelty for such selfish aims. I knew another man like that once. He treated my mother, perhaps even killed her, depending on who you ask. My sincere condolences. In the end, she was just a shadow of herself. The outline of the person I recognized, but lacking all else, she was pushed until she cracked. Should you see me cracking, John? I must ask you to intervene. Nothing compels us to pursue this matter further, Sherlock. We can return to London. Report what we have discovered. Let more capable hands take over. Alas, there are no such hands. Were we to abandon our quest now, I fear no other would succeed in our stead. We know nothing of what awaits. What dangers lurk in the darkness? Nonsense. We draw nearer to New Orleans with every passing minute, and thus closer to the answers we seek. Those answers, for all their perversity and improbability, will nevertheless be the work of men. And that is a work I have studied well. So be it. I know you to be a diligent author, but if I may make one request. Kindly omit my mother and her suffering from your tale. Of course. Thank you, John. Ah, oh, Holmes. After our trip to Nippy, Switzerland, I can certainly use some of this new world heat. Do not get carried away, Watson. What we could certainly use are answers to my questions. I know, but you look exhausted. Why don't we find the hotel first? We shall rest when our investigation is over, and not a moment sooner. I shall ask you to handle our bags while I search for the bank. As you wish. Look, Watson. The two of you are just alike. Oh, great. So I look like a haggard alcoholic. Eureka! What have you got? An idea. First, we'll need Mr. Barnaby's clothes. Holmes. Watson, time is of the essence. You will go to the bank, not as yourself, but as Frank Barnaby. Holmes, we look nothing alike. The hat and coat will do the heavy lifting. Just stay cool, play the part, and no one will notice the difference. Trust me. Must we really indulge in this farce? It worked in Switzerland, didn't it? Sure, if you redefine the word worked. I told you, Holmes, I told you it was a bad plan. Now we're penniless and wanted criminals. Hysteria gets us nowhere, Watson. Tell me what happened. The sheriff saw right through me. He knew who I was from the start. Extorted me for every coin I had. Bah, all that matters is what you learned about the gems. At least in Afghanistan, we had nippy nights. It makes one yearn for rainy London. Hell's bells! I told you to stay away, doctor. That he did, Holmes. At last, the lantern's working again. Holmes, I'm coming. Holmes, what are you doing, sitting in a place like this? How did you get here? How did you get through the maze? Tell me, Watson. What maze? I walked straight up to you. You saw me. Do not lie to me, John. How did you get out? Sherlock, what happened? Are you feeling all... Free me! Let me return! Free me and rejoice! I is without purpose, I now see the truth! Tear my mind from my flesh! Holmes? Are you alright? Here, let me help. I'm fine. Holmes? Sherlock! What the hell were you doing? He almost killed you! I don't... You're right. Let's go, Watson. Who's there? Hmm. Who do you think? Let it be known that I'm handy with this revolver. Nonsense, Dr. Watson. As I understand it, when faced with the imperative to defend oneself, one's comrades, and one's nation, you fled. I... I... Aren't you going to introduce us, Sherlock? Watson, meet my brother Mycroft, the Queen's best boy. 
This is a grim augury indeed, for wherever Mycroft travels, tedium surely follows. We need your help. What? There is evil afoot. Strangeness and savagery like I have never seen. Something otherworldly, festering in the dark beyond our reach. We have seen things that defy explanation. Mystic forces, magic. You must help us. It's true. The British government does not invest its resources in the insane or intoxicated. Pull yourself together. I know men like you. Men like you grease palms, whisper in ears, start wars, and you send men like me to die in them. You. And the rest of your corpulent cronies. Ha! <laughs> corpulent! That was it. Interesting, Sherlock. But as you again drift away from sanity, you find yourself another John. All right, so the choice is made. I beg your pardon? There is only us. We cannot run from this problem. Hmm? Mycroft, here to buy a book on fraternal dysfunction. The Holmes family is beyond counseling, Doctor. True, more deserving of scientific study. What do you want? I came to warn you. Perhaps you have a moment to... Sorry, I reserve Tuesday afternoons for time with friends. I'm worried about Sherlock. He's not well. You should know that he has had episodes in the past. Detachment from reality. He will need your support. Such gall. First you crush him under your boot heel, now you ask me to pick up the pieces. <laughs> your emotions are impeding your rationality. He needs to be distracted, diverted into something less harmful. Surely, you jest. Only one thing shall truly bring him peace of mind, and that is solving his case. The last case he pursued so doggedly was Cordona. He came home a wreck, and this time I fear he may not return at all. You are not his father, Mycroft. Not anymore. He is a grown man, a brilliant man. I know you care for him. I just wish you also respected him. The Crown cannot help you. But I can. Give him this. What is it? A confidential note tied to his case. He may see value in it. Just do not tell him it came from me. Holmes, I have the translation. Barnes will keep researching. Holmes? Watson? Did you hear me? Barnes gave us a preliminary translation of the book. I think we have a lead. Sherlock? What is it? I find myself burdened. It will come as no surprise that I tend towards obsession. Indeed, obsession off grants me the insights that have become my stocking trade, but my greatest asset. Yet I cannot deny this nature proves as much a hindrance as a boon. It has cost me friends, colleagues, brothers. And despite my obsession, as I contend with the matter at hand, no closer to understanding than when we began, I... Well, I must conclude that I am of no worth at all. Without an answer, what use is the question? Sherlock, this is no time for despair. The book is real. Those men went mad. John, I fear that I am as mad as the rest of them. I bore witness to the same events that you did. I saw with my own eyes the inexplicable, the ghastly, and the unnatural. I can attest to their occurrence. So take heart, for it was as real as you or I. And thus, we must persist. Lives hang in the balance. If you cannot see your worth, then trust in me, for I see it. And I know of no other man capable of putting this matter right. Thank you, John. Would that I possessed even half your courage. It's truly me, John. I cannot bear it any longer. Is that you, Holmes? Speak up! Help me! John! John, I'm falling! Keep talking! Watson! Holmes! Holmes, come on, wake up! Uh, thank heavens! What were you doing? What happened? sun inverts, the earth, it becomes transparent. Sherlock, snap out of it. Nothing is everything. We are so small, 
inconsequential. A shadow in the dark. I... I think we best go back. You are not well, Sherlock. Uh, no. We are so close. Uh, we cannot... You asked that I intervene if I saw you cracking. This is me intervening. With every passing minute, another life is extinguished. We must stop, Rochester. We must end this. Ah, oh, Sherlock, you almost died. Do not worry about me, John. You have other men to save. That's no way to speak to a captain. Sherlock, get down! Ah! Watson, I only wounded him. Come on. We'll go together. Please be careful, Sherry. I love you. Quite. Come on. We'll go together. To help them! Watson, stop! Rochester will see you. What should we do? We get answers. Stay here, see to the lenses. I shall confront Rochester. He owes me the truth. Sherlock! 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 Come back down! The wave! Come with us! Turn yourself in! Save yourself! The abyss calls for me, Mr. Holmes, as it does for you! The f Sherlock! Please! Rochester, don't! Such heights we reach! No! God! Sherlock, we must get inside! I have to see it, John! I have to know! Apologies, did I rouse you? I could relocate to the study, but I wanted to be at hand should you need me. No, no, no. The sound of your keys it is my tether back to the waking world. I find writing of our adventure helps me too. Perhaps at some point you could read it and tell me if it accords with your memory. There are moments in our journey that only you were privy to. Your encounter with Gygax, your visions with Light of the Abyss, your confrontation with Rochester? No. Pardon me? Do not publish it. It would be professional suicide. Uh, you would be a laughing stock, a fabulist, concocting penny dreadfuls for the unwashed masses. And I... Well, I would no longer attract a distinguished clientele, but madmen convinced I could connect them to their deceased relatives or... Help them capture a fairy. Ah. It doesn't seem to get any better, does it? When I close my eyes, John, I am falling. Falling into a black abyss. It is endless and suffocating and unforgiving. But I would give for a dreamless night. It's going to be all right, Sherlock. What is that? It will help you rest. No, 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 not that, no, no. I say, Watson, would you be afraid to sleep in the same home as a lunatic, a man with softening of the brain, an idiot whose mind has lost its grip? Not in the least. lucky. Here we are in the heart of Whitechapel. Keep an eye on your wallet, Holmes. This area is the highest for pickpockets in all of the kingdom. Don't worry about my wallet, Watson. It would be easier to move Big Ben than to steal from me. Or to borrow a shilling from you. Amusing, Watson. Really very amusing. Can we move on to more serious matters? I'm listening, Holmes. Small balls of opium. I'll take a spoonful. Holmes, do you really think that this is the appropriate moment? Don't worry, Watson. We're fighting. It's a matter of luring him to me. Ah, I see. I imagine that the sedative is for him. Well deduced, Watson. An enormous area, and there are dozens of potential hiding places. 
How on earth are we going to find him? The old dog Toby is the best sleuth hound in town. Shieldman, I'll go back and alert the guards. Calm down, he's harmless. But, but what is he doing here? Why hasn't he run away? Because I asked him not to. Are you telling me that you helped him to escape? Quite so, as he wouldn't have been able to do so alone. But how? And why? He's a dangerous madman. Holmes, you've made me an accomplice in this escape. You owe me some explanation. May I ask when you're going to do it? When I have found him. What? You're not trying to tell me that he's escaped again? Yes, but this time it's not your fault, nor mine for that matter. You've been using me, Holmes. I unwittingly aided one of the most dangerous criminals in the kingdom to escape. So please tell me why. The Coots Beckett. I've got the address. We can go round after a nice cup of tea. Don't get too comfortable, Watson. We're leaving immediately. The way in. What's that package you are carrying, Holmes? You haven't said a word about it all the way here. Cakes for my old aunt. <laughs> Your old aunt? Stop pulling my leg, Holmes. If you want a sensible answer, then you should ask a sensible question. Very well. I'm going to ring the doorbell. That should be an appropriate task for someone like me. No. Don't forget your cakes when we leave, Holmes. Of course, Watson. Deal with the rest. Quick, Watson, we must get out of this house. Immediately. What? But... Be quick, man. It's urgent. Because of you, we have to flee like common criminals. Late. Do as you wish, Holmes. But I need to hear an explanation about what was in that armored room. I'm going. No, stay here. That's an order. Your giving orders changes nothing. I'm going to talk to Judge Beckett, and you will not stop me. Watson. Watson! Are you all right? <laughs> Forgive me, Watson. But I'm afraid that I must leave now. Leave? What the devil do you mean? Holmes, come back here! Holmes! Holmes, I know you were in there. Holmes, open this door immediately. I think that I would rather not. Tell me the truth, Holmes. I need to know. You have no right to keep the truth from me. Tell me! I am sorry, Watson. Open this door, or I will break it down! Do what you like. The door is not locked. What are you doing? No! Holmes! No, it is impossible. What I need to do is to find Holmes, and when I find him, I'll... I'll decide. In a moment, madam. Stop playing around. I've seen through you. You're going to have to give me some straight answers now. I don't know who you are or what you want, but leave me alone now! I think you are mistaken, young man. Your ridiculous accent and your filthy clothes don't fool me, Holmes. And what on earth have you been eating? Your breath could kill an ox at ten paces. Right, that's it! You're going to get a thrashing of your life! Calm down, Mr. Hooper. I think that this young man may have mistaken you for somebody else. He obviously does not have a good memory for faces. On the contrary, madam. Everything is crystal clear to me. Really? Well, in that case, follow me, young man. I want to show you something. What? But, madam, please, wh what are you... Calm down, Watson. It's me. Holmes? You were almost brilliant, Watson, but once again, your last step was too wide. Take comfort in the fact that your finding this address was admirable enough. Why are you out here, if it's not for hiding from Scotland Yard? I demand an explanation. You are in no position to demand anything. I found you once, Holmes. You can be certain that if you give me the slip, I'll do it again, and next time I'll return with Baines and his men. I have absolutely no intention of leaving. Truly? So what does this train ticket mean? It's a ticket for this evening. You... you managed to open my suitcase? Enough of your lies, Holmes. As a matter of fact, then yes. I am leaving tonight. We are leaving tonight. I'm not going to let you vanish again. Very well. Follow me, if you so wish. 
but I should warn you that there is little chance of us both coming back alive. I won't leave you for a second, and I accept the risk. It'll be more interesting to see what you are going to do. I won't bend to your will any more, Holmes. You have gone too far. Shh, Watson, not so loud. Holmes has managed to escape from the police. He manipulated me from start to finish. And to think that I played an indirect part in his crime. I don't have the answer. But one thing is certain. Up until today, I had a friend. Why did it have to come to this, Holmes? All those years of friendship and respect, of trust, everything that we went through together, and you deceived me all along, damn you! I wish that I had seen through all of your lies, but now it is over. It is all over. <laughs> Don't think it like that much. <laughs> now teach him. Let's see if I can break. Holmes. I am so very glad to see you. Watson, my friend. You are not in a good state, Holmes. Neither are you. I suppose not. Can you walk? Not without your help. Yes, let's go back to Baker Street. I'll help you. Lean on me. Do you really believe that Moriarty is in there behind that fence? Something in the wind seems to suggest it, Watson. I have a peculiar acid taste in my mouth, if that is what you mean, Holmes. Bring me Professor Moriarty, Mr. Sorbury, without delay. Sir John will remain here with me. I should be able to remove the prints without endangering Watson's life. Yes, I can hear something tapping at regular intervals against the shutters. Watson? I think I know what we must do in order to defuse the bombs, Holmes. Good work, Watson. Yes, well, no, not really, because the bomb I have with me, the... Ah, I think I understand. How do you always manage to get yourself into these situations? I didn't really have any choice in the matter. 